Hello there everybody, it's Ewan from RingsMC again, coming here with a new Vaults Pack video. It, I thought the other one did pretty well, it got I think 6 likes now, um, so that's alright in 5 or 6 days, so a like a day. Um, anyway, this one is on m the missiles, this is the, another really cool bit, it's so cool. Um, so look at this beauty, it's my nuclear missile submarine thing. Uh, it doesn't look like a, a submarine but yeah <laughs> it's got holes in it and it's got flat bottom <laughs> flat bottom anyway um, no uh, so this is my setup I have got I usually have another one here but I'm going to show you how I did it um, now pretty much here what you do is you put the missile in that slot and then you that's the control panel and the only reason I've got these is to show you what it looks like coming out of the uh, out of the submarine from the outside I wouldn't usually have them it's just it is cooler in here actually but anyway so starting off what you need is a I prefer a launcher platform T3. Now the difference between T1, T2 and T3, I think, I'm not too sure, I'm not an expert on any of this stuff, um, is that the T3 can fire all of the missiles or something like that. So after that you need a launch control panel T3. So make sure the T3, the T numbers are the same as the launch site. So here I've got the control panel um, hooked up with copper wire into this battery box. Now this battery box is a advanced battery box. It's uh, yes, advanced battery box. There it is on the screen. Now the weird thing about this is it wouldn't work like that because the input is going into the black bit and the output into the red bit. So what you need is the input going into the red bit make sure it's always going into the red bit and the output comes out the end um, otherwise it won't work and yeah all that sort of stuff I have to turn this to morning there you go um, so what I usually have is this copper wire coming up here uh, coming up the main bit where people get in and out but oh well I have to use the power somewhere um, and what I do is I use solar panels, advanced solar generator. Now for that, the red bit again needs to be, for this, the power needs to come out of the red bit. Okay, so it's very confusing that bit. Um, but there you go. Um, I'll show you again on this side. So the, uh, the red bit is facing this way inwards and let me just replace that and the wire goes into the red bit so there you go it doesn't look like a submarine then I must admit but oh well it doesn't matter um, <laughs> it's and there you go it's generating electricity um, or power whatever you want to call it um, it's not the same thing but over um, anyway the only reason I have these bits is to show you from the outside as I may have already said um, so what you need to do now is get a radar gun now the radar gun uh, well you don't need it but I prefer it because all you have to do is right click there and it gives you the scanned co uh, coordinates so now that I've got the scanned coordinates I go back into my submarine and I right click on the control panel and now it says coordinate information transferred so I now need my missiles uh, I'll put them all into this in same coordinates into all of these and there's unnamed cluster so they've got they're all the same as my previous video apart from there's a few which are slightly different so there's like the nuclear cluster 
which is very destructive. That's new. And a cluster missile. And let me just see. Uh, these are all the same. Attractive, repulsive, chemical, you know. Anti-ballistic. I don't know what some of these do. I must admit. Um, homing missile. Now, I don't know how this works. Like, how that's different to all the others. Like, I'm, obviously, I know in real life. But, I mean, in this game, I don't know what you have to do to make it home. Or whatever. Um, I've forgotten to add, as well, an infinite battery now the infinite battery uh, can go into the advanced battery box into the lower left um, the bottom left uh, slot and it creates joules of energy um, I think that stands for joules yeah <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put the homing missile in there the nuclear cluster in there and the cluster in here and what now the anti-ballistic one in there sorry that was my phone going off I just got a text Mr. Popular yes I know <laughs> anyway um, so to finish off this one all I need is a redstone signal now a button can do it anything like that can do it all you need, there you go, button, wham. And all I need to do now is hit that and the rocket blasts off. Now as you can see the rocket goes out and there. It's, of course it's not perfectly aligned, like perfectly on target because, well, it's a missile, they're never usually on target, but, well, no, I'm sure they are, but anyway. So that goes off, that's the, I think, just normal cluster. And the normal cluster, as you saw there, it fires out a load of smaller bombs, you know, cluster, that's what it means. And if I fire that out, sorry about this terrible, like, thing, um, and there you go, it, it hits again. Well, near enough. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to rescan an area for the cluster nuke to go off because well it's a nuke plus well times four to be honest because that was the cluster nuke going off uh, as you just saw there so what I'll put I'll do the radar shot right there now that I've traveled here I put that into the scanning and I press blast off and there you go as you can see it goes off but here's the cool bit cluster bombs they shoot out other small little ones there you go and I'm going to get away before my minecraft crashes because it is quite disastrous and <laughs> as you can see there's a double mushroom cloud all the way across the sky and a massive green spot of thing of yeah, all that sort of stuff. And on the mini map, all of this gets destroyed. Now, there you go. That was the cluster nuke, and it can do a ton of damage. So, yeah, that was the tutorial. Hope you all enjoyed, and uh, yeah, uh, please like, subscribe, and favorite, and cheers. Bye.